Okay, you guys, I'm back. And yo, I haven't did this in a long time, okay? So this is actually something that I like to do. It's sometimes sit back and be an artist, you know, because, you know, graphic design and uh, artistry is not the same. Let's just say, it. let's just be honest. Graphic design and artist is not the same. So if you're a designer, don't let anybody call you an artist. But, um, and the reason why is because there's design thinking and there's art thinking or whatnot. You know, I'm not going to say that. There, if there even is a term for art thinking. But um, for this right here, what I'm doing is I'm extending this girl's hair. And I haven't did effect like this in a long time because, you know, I'm not really in this kind of field anymore to do it. But it's still fun to do. So uh, I'm going to walk you through the steps when I, what I'm doing. So it's not really a step. Let me just say it like this. This is kind of like my, my talk and draw series, okay? And before I get into this one minute, because it's like 55 seconds now, you can comment on whatever you want to say. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if you like or like my page. You can share this out. You can say what you want. Um, it's fun to do, okay? It, you can take it serious if you want to. You can take it lightly if you want to. It's just me having fun and just doing something that I haven't done in a long time. And if you guys want to follow along and do the same thing, or maybe like learn something, because I'm going to say some stuff that you can learn from, you know, definitely do. Next time I'm doing something, uh, I'm just put this out here early. The next time I put up a video, it's probably going to be me turning a fat person skinny, okay? Or me turning a skinny person fat. We'll see what happens. You know, I like to see, I like to do different things. But um, in this one right here, what I'm using is the clone stamp tool. And the clone stamp tool, it looks like a stamp or whatnot. It's over there to the, the left, if you see it, right up under the brush, okay? Uh, basically, what you do, you can create some pixels or whatnot. You can take pixels from the actual picture and create that, you know, it's going to render out whatever it is there and then you know you have the freedom to like warp it and you know manipulate it to where to wherever you want to do or to where you want it to look let's just say that um in this instance i wanted to create a symmetry in this girl's hair from the left and right side so what i did was i clone stamped it and i i just basically made a duplicate where i could um turn it around turn it around and create that weight because it was weak on the, the left side after my manipulation okay but now because it's weak i also have to like push it over to the right just a little bit so it stands in the middle okay because um you never want anything to be disproportionate and that's where guides and grids come in i know a lot of people are like uh, i haven't used guides and grids in a long time i like to use guides and grids it's the best way you know um you always got to start somewhere let's just say that you have to start somewhere uh, on paper on you know somewhere and we want to make sure that everything is correct because if it's not and I can sense that as a designer I don't know maybe because I matured a little bit more but I can sense that as a designer that it wasn't like aligned correctly because we didn't use a guide and grid so uh, I like to do that now what I'm doing right here is awesome actually uh, it's cleaning up so I didn't tell you the process the process is use the clone stamp tool you use the brush to, uh, on a mask so clone stamp mask and brush and then you pretty much repeat it's kind of like a rinse and reuse type thing um, right here what i'm doing is i'm cleaning up with the the mask and the, the brush from my clone stamps or whatnot so i'm creating like a little bit of depth of field that you guys can you know manipulate that looks more like photorealistic now like i said this is not my best work i'm not going to say that it is you know but going into it it's actually uh, an intuitive a very very ingenious and i'm not gonna say ingenious i'm using the wrong words here it's a very awesome kind of effect that you can do because it's kind of like intro basis you know just kind of like you know beginner level type thing or whatnot where you know beginners go in and they're just kind of like oh let me you know mess around with the effects and stuff like that um this is actually what i do whenever i get a chance and i get bored so at this point in time it's kind of you know there's still a little areas on the left that's kind of weak how do i know that it's weak because you can see like brown and black and stuff like that so what i did was i uh created some more contrast and i made it darker so you know i can go in and get out some of those dark areas or not it's never going to be perfect but you know that's kind of one of the easy ways of doing it. And uh, I'm just kind of starting to wrap this picture up, to be honest with you. So, like I said, next week, maybe next time I put up something, it might not be next week. 
But next time I put up something, it will definitely be, uh, you know, a fat person becoming skinny or a skinny person becoming fat. And if you want to see something, you know, just let me know. Write it in the uh, comment section below or whatnot. Or say what's up or, you know, tell me how bad I did or whatnot. And we can just go from there. I really don't care. But uh, I already put the typography in and this is what it looks like. So uh, get back to me. Holler at me later. And, you know, I'll see you next time.